the 2023 Toyota BZ4X all electric. Check this beautiful car out in this exterior paint color with the black interior, beautiful dashboard, super futuristic. And we're gonna be talking about this exact car in this in-depth review here at Vagabond Builds. Let's go ahead and show you guys that review. Now, as mentioned, we're talking about the 2023 Toyota BZ4X all electric car from Toyota. But before we do, because it's not a sponsored video, we really need your guys' support here at Vagabond Build. So if you like our content, tap that like button, subscribe to our channel. If you got some for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thank you to Meta Toyota here in Sacramento for providing us this beautiful car for this review. Now stay tuned, keep watching. We're dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea of what exactly comes on this car because there's just so much to mention and the time is just too long for you guys to watch. But okay, let's go ahead and talk BZ4X Toyota. So now let's kick this review off with some specs. And right before the specs, I wanted to mention to you guys that you literally have two trims in the BZ4X. This exact one that we're doing in this video is the limited trim. If you wanna check out our other video for the XLE trim, which is right over there, we also did a review of that exact car. And then you have, of course, the option of front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And this exact BZ4X in this video today is a front wheel drive limited trim. Now let's talk some specs. It is a single motor being the front wheel drive. If you have the all wheel drive comes with dual motor and horsepower on the single electric motor is about 201 horsepower, 196 pounds feet of torque. MPGE is 125 city, 103 highway, and 114 combined with a 242 mile range. For the people who'd like to know, it comes with a 71.4 kilowatt lithium ion traction battery, everybody. Now, of course, numbers will change being the all wheel drive with regards to MPGE and horsepower and torque and also range and things of that sort. So take that into consideration. But of course you have the all wheel drive system, which is also awesome to have when needed, like for the mountains, if you're heading up uh, to ski or snowboard for the day. So take that into consideration. Now let's go ahead and shut this hood and talk limited BZ4X front end. Starting with the headlights, you have those uh, multi kind of step level headlights in that jewel eye LED lighting system, premium light with the parking marker integrated and Toyota integrated on that last uh, jewel eye uh, LED. Okay. Bumper sensors going across on the bumper cover, a little bit of cut, adding some airflow here, coming through that bumper, some more character. Now, just remember the futuristic look on this car, kind of brings you back to the future, right? You have no grill because it's all electric. The camera is integrated right here in this kind of black gloss trim. And love it out, it comes together in that kind of matte silver with that exterior paint color and that black, just giving you kind of a futuristic yet a higher class feel, all right? So up top on the hood, you get that black gloss top trim level piece too. Now coming over to the side, get a load of this you almost look like you have no side fenders, like doesn't look like a regular car, right? But you have that kind of huge trim piece here and then the fender there, making it kind of a smaller or half a fender, I would say. Coming down to the wheel or rim area, they're running Bridgestones and those are the uh, Terenzas and the size on those are 235, 50, 20 inches, okay? With a uh, straightforward suspension system in that kind of uh, shock strut look. Dual color rim, black gloss on the interior, or sorry, a tri-color. Black gloss on the interior with that matte gray in the diff every other spoke and the machine surface silver. Continuing forward, if I go ahead and push this, this is your plug-in right there. You could open those. That's what they look like. Close that up, press that cap back down. Side mirror comes with blind spot assist in that black with a camera integrated right under the side mirror. So you're getting the 360 review or 360 camera view system. Now get a load of the side of the BZ4X and let's talk uh, some dimensions. 185 
inches in the length, 73 inches in the width, and 65 inches in height, everybody, for this BZ4X. Now, I would say it looks small, but yet big at the same time, kind of plays a trick on your eyes. On the lower side, matte black plastic trim on that lower rocker panel area. Very durable, this does take a beating down the line. Keyless fob entry, black gloss going across the windows with your roof rails in that black gloss. Now you can also uh, get those cross roof, roof rails if you wanna like attach things or extra cargo area and things of that sort. Big, huge wheel well trim with the premium tail light lighting in the back in that futuristic lighting bar in the LED. Beautiful look on that. We left the lights on so you guys get an idea. Now up top, that sporty look, check out that spoiler and that kind of like two piece look where you got one on the right, one on the left and that diffuser, just very beautiful look on that back end, giving you more of a sportier feel. Brake light is right under that glass on the interior side. Privacy glass, little lip helping you with the airflow, dropping down camera system here, integrated over that license plate and parking sensors in that matte black plastic bumper cover, all right? parking reflectors. Now let's go ahead and jump inside the cargo area. Press that button. You can also open it from the key fob. And cargo area with the seats up is about 38 cubic feet of space. With both seats down, you get up to 56 cubic feet of space. These seats are a 60 percenter and a 40 percenter. Let's go ahead and show you guys that and how exactly it looks. But get a load of all this room, honestly. You can literally fit so much if you know you need a, I honestly think you fit a dishwasher in here or something. Bikes, snowboards, skis, whatever. If you have the all wheel drive system, that is very convenient on that. Let's go ahead and lift this up. You got some more personal pocket room there too with the cover to the trunk if you don't want people peeking into your stuff, okay? Let's go ahead and close this. Now that we're pretty much done with specs, exterior, and some cargo area. Let's go ahead and jump inside the interior. Now inside the 2023 BZ4X limited trim and get a load of how futuristic this car feels with the curvature and your front cluster and the center console. Goodness, I feel like I'm again jumping into the future. But let's start off with bringing this interior to you with this door panel. Of course, it has that kind of leather feel wrap, plastic up top piano black trim, control unit for your windows, unlock locking button, and your control for your electric side mirror. On the left-hand side of the manual steering column, you have the tailgate lift button and, of course, the lighting system up here. See that button turn on? And your hood open latch. You can control this wheel, but look how that looks, how it comes up and down and all that stuff. Behind the steering wheel controls for your windshield wipers and your lighting system. On the steering wheel itself, you have cruise control, lane departure assist system, and you can control that info card by your arrows on controls. Let's go ahead and show you that. You can go through that info card with the arrows, music, media, act, adaptive cruise control, and all that good stuff. But get a load of the shape and how this looks kind of... Uh, kind of swooshes you into the cluster. Feels like it's driving you as a lane, like you're sitting in a lane itself. Very cool. Infotainment screen. Let's go ahead and show you guys how it looks. Pretty responsive, so not much lag on that. I know people like to know. You gotta make sure that you're pressing right on the button itself, just like that, and then you'll hear a beeping. Under the infotainment screen, you got the control systems for your temperatures, your dual climate control, heated and ventilated front seats, also heated steering wheel on the Limited, all right? That will change with regards to the other trim model. Under that, you got more buttons. For example, your camera system button, 360 view, traction control, eco mode, snow if you wanna go in between modes, like that. And then you get, of course, that Regenerative regeneration boost temporarily unavailable, of course, but this is to control your pedal itself. Parking brake button and auto hold. This is your button for power and your dimmable lighting buttons. But 
Something that's very different is a cloth dashboard. That's something that we truly see different in the BZ4X. Also in the other trim itself, the XLE trim, comes with a cloth dashboard. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in that cloth look. Personally, I don't like that cloth dashboard look, but that's just my personal preference. Perforated seating with manual control on the passenger, but you could also control the driver's side electric, okay? Electric driver's side control seating system, manual on the passenger. Center console, uh, wireless charging pad with a USB-A plug-in, and check this out. The light's shining, but you have these little rectangular squares in this cap, giving you that kind of see-through lid, which is pretty cool. Under that, you kind of have this bridge here. You have USB-C plug-in with 12-volt outlet, one plug-in for each side, so nobody is fighting. More cubby room, and your cup holder's right in front of that. Up top, something that's different, the panoramic glass all the way over to the second row seating. That is super cool. All right, and up in front of that panoramic glass, you have the controls for your lighting and check out those futuristic lightings, okay? This will close your visor. I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. And then after this, we can shoot over to the second row seating. Second row seating, now same look coming in over from the front to the back. In front of the bench, you have two pockets, on the back side of those front seats, USB-C plugins and just your van. So pretty simple, straight to the point on this limited BZ4X. You have your armrest with your cup holders and a little bit of pocket room right there. Can again drop these seats down just like that and lift them back up. I'm about six feet two inches. So if we go ahead and do a space test, literally a whole lot of leg room and up top you have a whole lot of headroom. Oh, snap handle and your lighting system in that kind of true light lighting like the color. I'm not a big fan of that soft yellow that we see manufacturers are kind of straying away from now. Door panel, pretty much the same look coming over from the front over to the back. They kept that same. But honestly, I have to mention that these seats are very soft. This is actually very different as I sat in it. Gave me a really soft feel right off the bat. I noticed how soft this uh, material was with the seating itself. Now, as promised, we're dropping that MSRP sticker for you guys so you guys get an idea of exactly what comes with this car, the package, and everything else. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below, I'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned. We have more cool things coming. God bless you.